Every time you log on to 2B2T, you are being lied to. How, you may ask? Well, it actually has to do with the fact that you're waiting in queue in the first place. That's because the server you're trying to join may not actually be full. That's right, a majority of the time, there's empty player slots that aren't even being used. So why is the server owner we call Housemaster doing this? Well, the reason goes pretty deep, so you'll want to stick around for this one. So what's really going on here? Well, to fully understand this story, I need to give you a little background about the 2B2T queue system. Due to software limitations of how many players can join a single world Minecraft server, there has to be a limit on how many users can play 2B2T at once. Hence, the creation of a queue system that was designed to let players join when others leave. There are two tiers of queue access for 2B2T, a free tier, or standard queue, and a paid tier, also known as priority queue. This paid tier costs $20 per month and gives users priority access to the server. But what does priority access actually mean? Well, in the early days of 2B2T's queue, there was only one singular queue that everybody shared. Those with priority queue status would literally skip the line of those in standard queue. The issue with this approach is that it caused players that were in standard queue to show their place in line go up, which not only caused a ton of confusion, but sometimes made it near impossible for non-paying players to get into the server during times of peak priority queue demand. So a new system was developed. Instead of having one singular queue, there are actually two independent queues, one for standard and the other for priority. Think of it like a fast pass that a lot of amusement parks offer. You often get your own dedicated line just for fast pass holders, while others have to wait in a normal line that's usually much longer. And on 2B2T, there are 275 total player slots, with one portion of it allocated to priority queue players and the other for standard queue. For a while, we didn't really know for sure how large or small these allocations were, and it didn't even really matter too much because the server was always full regardless. But more recently, the size of specifically the standard queue allocation was brought into question. This is because for the last few months, 2B2T's player count almost never reaches the full 275 players, yet there's always hundreds of players waiting in standard queue. And we also know that the server isn't full because priority queue players can join instantly. So it's very possible that Housemaster has severely limited how many standard queue players can join at a given time. So the question is exactly how many standard queue players can join at a time. Well, a player by the name of Dr. Crocus wanted to figure out exactly that, and the process he used to figure out the exact number was incredibly simple. He first waited for the server to restart, which happens on a semi-regular basis. Once a restart does happen, all the players are kicked from the server. At this point, the queue server is still online, but no players can actually move through it because the main server is offline. But once 2B2T eventually goes back online, the queue flows very rapidly to fill up the player slots for each allocation. So all you have to do now is subtract the number of players left in queue from the players before the restart, and BAM! you now have the maximum number of standard queue players that can join at a time. He ran this test six times and got very consistent results, with each restart letting close to 75 standard queue players into the server. Now, this doesn't seem right. Why would Housemaster limit normal players to 75 when there obviously aren't enough priority queue members to fill the server to the maximum player limit? which Dr. Crocus also calculated to be 275. Now I also want to point out that 2B2T used to have the opposite issue, where priority queue players would sometimes have to wait over an hour to get into the server. That's not what you'd want or expect. So it could be that Housemaster wanted to eliminate that wait time for paying players at all costs. So he just limited normal players to 75, leaving 200 priority queue slots, which gives these players tons of wiggle room to join. Another more devious intention for this could also be that Housemaster actually wants the normal queue to be as long as possible as a way to convince those players to buy priority queue. 
hence all the reminders that are given. However, I don't think this possible intention has proved successful, at least for filling the server, as it still rarely reaches the 275 player limit. In my opinion, if Housemaster really wanted more players to buy priority queue on his server, just update it to the latest version of Minecraft for Christ's sake. Okay, rant aside, do I like this change? No. Less players online makes for a less active player base, with many players who don't want to buy priority just leaving because the queue is too long to even see the server, especially now knowing that standard queue players can never actually fill the server if there are not enough priority queue players online. Yes, it is nice having priority and getting in instantly every time, but I'm also not suggesting Housemaster goes back to the old way of doing things either. So while I was making this video, there's been a development. I noticed that 2B2T's player count actually started hovering around 250 during peak hours. So I told Dr. Crocus about this anomaly, and he decided to run another test during a restart. This time, instead of 75 players going through standard queue, it was 100 players. He then later ran yet another test which only showed 90 standard queue progressions. This could mean that Housemaster already realized this issue, and decided to start testing different player ratios. However, during off-peak hours, the online player count still drops significantly despite there still being players in regular queue. So the problem does still exist, but I guess it's somewhat lessened. So the way I feel this should be fixed is that instead of the standard and priority server allocations being fixed numbers, they should adjust depending on server demand to allow the maximum amount of players online at a time. Think about it, no amusement park would run a half-full ride just because there aren't enough fast pass holders to fill it. That would just anger guests. They would instead fill up the rest of the empty seats with guests from the regular line. And on 2B2T, to make sure paying players can still join instantly, there could also be a 5 or so player slot buffer in case of a rush of priority queue players. In short, this method only makes sense and I feel is a win-win for the players and the server owner. More users would be able to play on the server at once, while Housemaster makes the same amount or even more money from priority queue sales simply due to allowing more new players to explore the server. So what do you think about this recent change to 2B2T's queue limits? Do you think Housemaster's decision to restrict standard queue makes sense? Let me know in the comments. I also want to thank Dr. Crocus for giving me tons of useful information that helped me make this video. You can find the link to his Reddit post on the subject matter in the description. Now by the end of this video, you probably moved a whole 10 positions in queue. 